there, nine and seven playoff team, the Detroit Lions. And, and let's jo go inside their draft war room here, Bucky, and, and take a look at this football team. And let's start on the defensive side of the ball. And, uh, and what jumps out to you here? They need to improve their front seven. This is a talented group. When you have Ziggy Ansa, he can get it done. But he needs to find a playmate. They also need some talent on that second level. All right, well, look where they picked. 21 in the first round. Let's get him another edge rusher here. And they won't have to go far. Let's go Taco Charlton from Michigan. You talk about somebody that's tall, long, athletic, Bucky. Didn't test quite as well as I thought he would. But you watch him on tape. He's got all the tools. The traits are there. Hasn't put it all together yet, but the traits are all there for him to be a really, really when good When he player. flashed during his final season at Michigan, you definitely see a guy that could be a double-digit sack artist at the next level. Has to find a consistency, but if he finds it, he and Ziggy Ons would be a nice one-two punch off the edge. All right, let's get another addition here to the front seven. Second round pick number 53. What do you think? Here we go. Let's go Zach Cunningham from Vanderbilt, linebacker. I think he can kind of fit in wherever you want to go at yeah, linebacker. Please. Bring him over. And the reason I like Zach Cunningham in this spot, versatile player. He can play inside and outside. I like the length. I like the athleticism. He's a sideline to sideline player. He has the ability to be a dominant player. Not quite ready to commit to him as a first rounder, but if he's there in the second round, I think he's a nice fit for the Detroit Lions. All right, this is what stood out to me. When you look at this offensive unit here, you look at them up on the board, this offensive line, Bucky, quietly has become one of the better offensive lines in football. Big, physical, can move people off the ball, so they should be able to field a nice running attack. Yeah, you got some receivers here. Eric Ebron, your tar here. Let's give them another weapon. They want to go two tight end set in, in the third round. Let's go Jordan Leggett, and we'll put him behind Ebron here at the tight end position. Now you've got two guys that can really, really get vertical down the seam. You watch the national championship game. We talked so much about Mike Williams. Jordan Leggett made some big time catches in that game as well. He did make some big time catches. He was a nice option for Deshaun Watson on the outside, and that would be a nice one-two punch. I'm going to go a little deeper in the tight end position. I'm going to just say, let's just say Jake Butt is available at that pick in the second round. Maybe they decide to take a traditional wide tight end, someone that can be an inline blocker but also control the middle of the field. That would allow Eric Ebron to split out and do some of the things that he's been more comfortable doing throughout his time in the league. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see where Jake Butt ends up going in this draft, Bucky, because if healthy, I think you're right, he goes top of the second round. Don't sleep on Adam Shaheen. I say it every day on this show. Adam Shaheen from Ashland, a true hand-in-the-ground tight end. He would be a good option for this football team as well.